This is David Vinegar of First Website Design and Keyword SEO Pro. Welcome to this video. We are going to begin by considering the importance of page rank. We'll have Matt Cutts, the head of the Black Hat Detection Unit at Google, explain to us what page rank is and how it is calculated. We will discover that we need some measure, some measurement of link value, and we'll present the definition of link authority units. To begin with, let's go to Matt Cutts, who will explain to us how page rank is derived. As we pay attention to what Matt Cutts has to say, we will observe that we need some form of link measurements. He discusses a page has a lot of page rank or its value in some abstract way. Clearly a measurement is required. But before we talk about how you can rank higher in Google we need to learn a little bit about how Google works. And it's not that complicated. We crawl roughly in order of page rank. That means the more page rank you have the faster you're likely to be found, the deeper will crawl on your site, the more often we'll visit your pages to see if they've been refreshed. Okay, cool, page rank, magic green juice, how do I get more page rank? First, what is page rank? Anybody want to tell me? It is named for Larry Page, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, the two co-founders of Google. What is page rank? <laughs> okay, it's not that secret of sauce. It's not green fairy dust. Let's just walk through a very simple eigenvector. <laughs> it's really simplicity itself. So singular value decomposition. Let's just go ahead and... Wait, you didn't show up at 10 a.m. on a Saturday morning to talk math? No? Okay, all right. Page rank at a 50,000 foot view is this. It's the number of people that link to you and how important those links are. So one of my favorite examples, suppose you have a buddy from college, right? And you have a blog and he has a blog. Suppose you've got 10 comments, or 10 links pointing to your blog, and your buddy has 20 links pointing to his. Who has more page rank? Well, if he's got 20 links, you've only got 10. But what if your 10 links are the New York Times, the LA Times, Reader's Digest, CNN.com, and his 20 links are all his buddies from college, right? So page rank is not just getting as many links as you can. Please give me more links. I have to have more links. No. It's also how important they are. So having high quality content can really make a big difference. I promise I won't get more technical than this. It looks a little complicated. I'll walk through it very quickly, but it's not as bad as it looks. Look at this page right here. These are links coming into one page. Page rank is at a page level, page. And these are outlinks. So imagine this is your blog. If you've got a bunch of links pointed into your blog and your blog homepage has a page rank of nine, let's just say nine in an abstract sense, and you've got three outlinks, you more or less divide that nine by three, and the three goes out on each of the outlinks. That's the basic idea behind page rank. If you look at the top one, this guy's got a page rank of 100. He's got a lot of page rank, and he's got two outlinks. So each of those two outlinks, you take 100, you divide by two, because you've got two outlinks, and 50 goes to each one of those. That's literally the idea behind page rank. It's that simple. Now, in practice, if it really worked this way and you had a loop, PageRank would just keep cycling around forever and ever and ever, and mathematically speaking, the world would blow up. You don't want the world to blow up. So there's a little bit of an additional thing, which is that PageRank kind of evaporates. A little bit of a decays every time it goes across a link. But that's literally the idea behind PageRank. It's the number of which you get pointing to you and how important those links are. It is a scientific principle that everything that can be measured should have units of measurement. This is true whether we consider distance, perhaps being measured in meters or feet and inches, volume, weight, currency, temperature, or anything else that lends itself to measurement. In relation to internet links, which are also called backlinks, it has become fashionable to use the term link juice. But this is still a concept and not a unit of measure. 
Nobody would suggest, for instance, that an incoming link has a value of 1.7 mils, or that the total value of all the links coming into a web page is 1.9 litres. I would like to propose that we use link authority unit as the measure of link value. One link authority unit, or LAU, would be the value from a web page with page rank 1 when there is only one outgoing link. Let me give an example. A linking page has a page rank of 5 and there are 10 outgoing links. Each link would therefore have a value of 0.5 LAUs. It follows that page rank will depend on the sum of all the value in each link coming into that web page in link authority units. In a future project, I plan to look at the relationship between total link value coming into a page in terms of link authority units and page rank. At the time of this recording, we are in December 2010, and unfortunately, Google has not updated the page rank information that it provides us with from April 2010. I will therefore undertake this research, but will repeat it when we have the new page rank information. This paper has been published on eZine articles. This is David Vinokur of First Website Design and Keyword SEO Pro. Thank you for watching this video.